Okay, welcome to a machine learning Monday. Might not even be Monday, but it's always a good time for some. What's well, a good learning. way to train your machine? Yeah. Does it know if it's Monday or not? Is it Monday? Is it Monday? Is it Monday? Yeah. All right. So uh, this is probably the first of many yeah. uh, videos that we're doing around um, this new thing, machine learning, which is a little complicated, but it probably doesn't need to be. So, in your words, Lady Ada, what is machine learning? Machine learning is the process by which you feed a computer a ton of data and um, it does some calculations on the data to try to figure out what the patterns are and then it can recognize new data whether it's in that set or not. So for example, you feed it, the classic examples, you feed it lots of photos of dogs and you feed it lots of photos of cats and then if you show it a new photo, it'll be able to tell you is it more like the cats or is it more like the dogs. It doesn't know what a cat or a dog is. All it knows is, is it like these sets of photos or these sets of photos? Why is it that most of the demos I've seen don't really work? Yet? Machine learning is really hard. I mean, yeah. we're still we're still learning as humans how to teach machines to learn stuff. So okay. it's very new. It's very exciting because historically, you know, we would have heuristics where we would, you know, we would decide, okay, look for whether it has pointy ears or not, then it's a cat, or look for if it has whiskers, or if it has, you know, a fluffy tail, and, and that's how you would determine if something is a cat or a dog, but it, it takes a very long time, and it's not flexible, whereas machine learning, the goal and aim and promise is that it'll figure out what the differentiators are for you instead of having a human try to figure those out and program them into machine. Yeah. I feel like there's a lot of hand waving and there's not a lot of documentation and no one's quite figured this out, especially to get people, um, all types of people involved. Because I think if, if we're not careful, we'll get a very small segment of the population programming for potentially everyone. And I think it'd be really good to have the accessibility, just like we're starting to see with microcontrollers and programming like Python also for machine learning. Yeah, so what are some th of the tools? there's a challenge. Like for example, if you feed a computer you know, what you consider a person, yeah. a photo of a person, if you don't feed it enough different photos of the huge variety of people out there, it won't be able to recognize some people based on their hairstyle, their skin color, their height, how their posture is. It won't be able to be smart enough to recognize it as a human. So it's a lot about making sure that the data we're feeding this computer is good data. Yeah. We are what we eat. We are what we eat, so it is the same yeah. with machine learning. Well, we, we, we always say that with um, our uh, our theme, make robot friend, make not robot enemy. Yeah. So be really nice to robots. The code that you put in, that's their soul. That's how they're going to eventually think in the future. Don't yeah, if, robot you train, slaves. if you train robots to be bad and yeah. horrible to humans, yeah. all you're going to get is bad and horrible to human robots. What do you think is going to yeah. happen? Yeah. So um, there's a couple tools, because uh, I was going to ask about the tools. So TensorFlow, that's one of the ones that this are, is people the, say right away. TensorFlow yeah. and then TensorFlow Lite. What's TensorFlow and what is TensorFlow Lite? TensorFlow and TensorFlow Lite are um, these programming structures that yet you create the models, that is this feeding the data and creating you know, what, what is a cat versus a dog, these, these tensors, these matrices of data tweaking and tuning them, and then being able to run that data also against uh, new information, so like a new photo of an animal, whether okay. it's a cat or a dog. So TensorFlow, is, it, this is a Google project. It's really awesome. It's kind of what sparked machine learning. I mean, machine learning has been around for at least 20 years. There's a ton of startups that they just get a little bit of TensorFlow going. They're like, now we got an AI company. Now Basically, we that's, and that's what it is. That's what a lot of it is. Okay. And it's interesting, I was looking at like Kaggle, which is a place where people share and, and work on data sets. And it's neat. There's like an airline that's like, here's some data. Can you tell us whether this customer is likely to show up at the flight or delay? You know, if they're yeah. not going to show up, so we know whether their ticket is going to be valid or not. To you know, finance companies, to health companies. So it, it's all about you know getting that data together. And almost everyone's using TensorFlow. Um, of, of course, there's people who have like homebrewed solutions, yeah. but TensorFlow is an open source version that runs on multiple different operating systems and programming languages, so yeah. C or Python, you know, Go so there's like or Rust. So there's giant computers that are crunching all these numbers. To and make the, the models. And then the most interesting thing for us as an electronics company is running the model. Is we want to run it on little bits of hardware, and ideally hardware that we're really good at. Yeah, do so that's so what we, the, the light is. The light is, yeah. it runs, you know, you would use TensorFlow, the, the big project, to compute your models. But then let's say you wanted to run on a small microcontroller or a small single board computer. That's where you'd go with TensorFlow Lite. Okay. 
So, and then there's like the experimental micro. So we, we've been thinking about a lot of different things. Are there events that people can go to and learn about machine learning and have like a machine learning badge? We'll talk about that in a bit. Also, what demos are out there that show hardware? I've seen some demos and it's usually a guy screaming on a little device going, yes, no, yes. And it doesn't necessarily recognize it. And the, the demo present and the presenters are struggling to see if an LED is lighting up or not. So. I will yeah. say that some of the Google AIY demos have been really cool. People have made some cool yeah. projects, like the robots that sit on your shoulder and recognize people. So we have an we had an idea. Good demos are possible. Yeah, we had an idea. One, how do we get good demos out there? Yes. And two, how can we make tools just like we do and learning guides and videos for people who want to get into machine learning and have something that doesn't violate privacy, that's like a, a very cool teaching tool so they could dip their toes in this idea of machine learning. And that's what you told me to do this weekend. Yeah, that was your weekend project. Okay. Um, well, well it's maybe we've been, either, either it was this weekend or we've been working on it for years. Um, so the idea that we came up with is there's a kind of iconic pop culture uh, touchstone, okay. so to speak, and it's uh, from the movie Tron. And Flynn finds Classic. a bit. Classic. He finds a bit, and the bit can only say yes or no. Well, it's a bit. So In fact, on let's, let's, have, let's watch a little tiny snippet okay. of, uh, of Tron. And let, hopefully this the, is the original Tron, too. Hopefully the too. YouTube machine learning algorithm doesn't, doesn't get it's me true. in trouble for this. But here's just a little tiny clip. That would be clip. ironic. Here's a little tiny clip of, of what we're talking about for okay. the folks who haven't seen it. So Flynn, he's in, he's he's in, in the, the computer. Machine. These machines are intelligent. It's machine learning like. They're learning something. He's learning something. And here's, here's a bit. Hold it right there. Yes. Maybe yes. Yes. And all you can say? No. Okay. Now we're going to do that, but we're going to do it on a Pygamer badge. We just shipped about 4,000 plus of these. If you have an box, guess what demo you and get to run? And we thought, wouldn't it be cool to be able to play video games that added machine learning? We'll talk Ooh. about some maybe projects ideas later. But first, let's get a let's get an easy to understand demo for people. And so let's uh, let's do this. So here's how it's going to work. You're yeah. going to talk into the. Uh, let me just go to the overhead. Yes. Yeah, so the board is running. Yeah. TensorFlow Lite. So that's it. Micro, and yeah. it's got a model that can recognize the words yes or no. Yeah. So if it if it if if you say yes, it's going to um, play the animation. And it's going to let you know it recognized yes. yes. And if it recognizes no, it's going to no. say no. So we wanted to do this like real time and show like you know good demos are possible with this stuff. So let's uh, okay. Let's uh, start let's it up. Let's go to the demo. Okay. Yeah. So I will turn uh -huh. it on. Yeah. We wanted to have graphics and feedback and like ways that people could see what's going on on the screen. Let's go animation. Yep. Okay. So now it's ready, and so it even gives you instructions. So instead of listening constantly, which we thought some people don't like the privacy um, uh, side effects of that, is you have to press the button A, the button A here, and then you speak into this microphone that I've just uh, plugged into the demo port here. It's just a standard microphone. And it will um, display a video and uh, animation and audio. So let's try it out. I'm gonna press A and speak into this mic. Yes. No. Bam. You did it. Live demo. So, so th yeah, that's what we wanted to show. And it has some feedback on the screen. It shows yep. the version. It shows what we're using. And this is all hardware that we have now. Battery powered, low powered. Yes, yes, edge yes, yes, computing. yes. Yeah, this is all, this is all battery yeah. powered right so now. So the, the other one that we're working on, this is the Edge Badge. This is what we're calling it. And this is one for um, conferences and more where machine learning, AI, uh, all the things that people want to know. We have a little spot for a secure chip in the back. So mm -hmm. you can burn that in. Yeah, because this, this version, you would be able to download models or share models or upload model to tr uh, data to train into a model uh, using something like Azure, Google Cloud, or whatever. And uh, then you could maybe share the model. So it's kind of like a little edge computing node that um, would be part of a greater network, a greater secure network. Uh, so this is kind of, it's the same uh, chip and hardware. It's uh, the SAMD51. This is a Cortex M4 processor. Uh, it runs at 120 megahertz, but uh, I, I love overclocking it to 200 megahertz. It has 256K of RAM, um, and then this version of the badge, of course, adds an ESP32 for uh, wireless support, and also it could probably do some computation for you as well, because it's a pretty fast uh, processor, a okay. dual-core 240 megahertz. 
So, it, you know, will it run full-fledged TensorFlow? No, it won't be able to calculate your models. What you can do is collect data, upload it to a cloud service that can do that heavy multi-processor crunching, and then download that model and then um, load it into your TensorFlow Lite running on the microcontroller. Yeah, and a couple things that's coming up ahead for us. So we're going to show some cool character selection and some future videos using machine learning. Um, training self-driving cars using machine learning. And this is all on Adafruit hardware. And then um, the other neat thing is we did a lot of work with making devices behave um, with the user in mind first. So when you plug in these devices, it shows up as a USB drive, so you can drag the models on, you can drag yeah. the graphics on. Very simple to get going really fast. You don't have to have these giant tool chains, IDEs, you can actually get going really fast. So that's our machine learning segment for um, today. For it's true. Week. Thanks, All right, well, we kicked it off. We have yeah. this, this code's online, it's on GitHub. If you have a Pi Gamer or a Pi Badger, actually any SAMD51 device that we sell, you'll be able to run uh, this demo code that you'll need the Pi Gamer or Pi Badge if you want the full graphics yeah. uh, set up. And uh, check out the TF Lite micro speech repo we have and uh, try out the demos and see how it goes. We'll be yeah. training some more models and uh, deploying them on this hardware. All right, Bit, did Lady Ada do a good demo? There you go. Yes, 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 yes. <laughs> All right, that was machine learning. Thanks, everybody. Thanks, Lady Ada.